is an honour to participate in this debate and a pleasure to follow my honourable friend from York Central. We were told last year by both the Prime Minister and the Chancellor that austerity is over. I beg to differ because austerity is alive and well in Peterborough. Our revenue support grant is just 10 million this year, a cut of over 80%. Since 2010, this government has cut £20 million of funding from my local council, which has meant a £431 loss per year for each household in the same period. That is money which has been taken straight from the pockets of my constituents. Money that could have funded 37 children's centres and 1,162 domiciliary care workers. In addition, it is estimated that there is a nationwide shortfall of one billion to bridge the funding gap in children and adult social care. And as people work and live for longer, the gap will continue to increase. When will this government wake up to the fact that these cuts to our local council and social care budgets have seriously harmed their ability to function? Our councils are so starved of funding, they can only just about fulfil their statutory obligations. These cuts are having a devastating impact on Peterborough City Council's funding and the cash-strapped social care sector. If the government is truly serious about ending austerity, they will invest in our schools. They will invest in our councils, they will invest in our public services, and they will do it sooner rather than later. Warm words that austerity is over will not cut it. In order to have continued access to the basic provisions my council should be providing to my constituents, this government needs to invest. We need deeds, not words. Thank you. Thank you.